What's going on my precious gems? Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I am your host Frosty Cones and welcome back to another Pokemon Duel video you guys. I know it's been a while since I've said that and you guys have seen that. But here we are. We have a new video. My heater just turned off and I'm going to turn that back on because it's a little chilly. You know why? Because we have the encroaching, approaching ice gym. I think it's going to be the ice gym. I don't know if it's going to be the dragon gym. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the ice gym. But we're going to see a couple of ice type figures get a buff or some rebounces as well as a couple of dragon types and I wanted to cover that today as well as go over some of my potential uh, dragon ice deck, I mean sorry, gym deck uh, ideas. So to get started, let's go ahead and hit the like button if you haven't already. Uh, I need I need the likes, give me the likes. Just kidding, if you're enjoying the content, definitely be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We got some socials over here. Um, I know for a while, uh, in, like towards the middle of May, I was pretty consistent with streaming nightly or daily uh, on Twitch. So definitely be sure to check me out on Twitch and uh, all of that good stuff. But going into some of these updates, first of all, the Kyurems get an update, an MP update, so that, we, so that way they get to uh, cash out on just their their busted ability to remove Zekrom or Reshiram from the duel to get this even like stronger figure, which is cool. I don't have any of the Kyurems, so this doesn't really affect me. I'm sure we might see a couple more in the meta, but I honestly don't remember the last time I've run into a, uh, a Kyurem white or black. It's been it's been a minute, and it like I don't know. They're they're not the best figures, so um, they're strong, but they're not the best. But Reggie Rock and Reggie Seal are gonna give buffs to their lock-on abilities. Everything within every opposing figure within two steps is going to get some respawn. And if they land on the wheel piece color that the ability is based on, then they'll get a lock-on marker. So that way, whenever they hit multi-blast, they'll get knocked out, which is awesome because I've always thought that like. You know, you're locking on, and especially like in this kind of a game, like you're locking on, you're like scanning everything around you. So then why not like take all, like as many figures as possible that aren't your own. Um, I'm glad that that's not like one of the things that you can lock onto your own Pokemon. But Multi-Blast also gets a buff to 110, which makes it, which makes both, uh, all three of the Reggies actually huge like just a nice like sweet tasty piece of cake for Zoroark but uh, I mean you have there's other ways to answers to that and I'm sure uh, I don't know what what red red ice's purple is gonna be but I mean there's a blue and there's a purple and Reggie Rock and Reggie Seals purples are, are pretty decent so it's all right but Dialga and Palkia they get a buff they get uh let's see a 10 damage buff to Roar of Time 30 damage buff to Dragon Claw, which is absolutely needed. Like in this high damage kind of like meta scene that we're in right now, except for Zoroark, uh, you need you need to at least be able to hit like 110. I mean, 110 is a pretty that is again as putting Zoroark in a completely different category. 110 is a good starting number uh, for for dealing some some good damage because you can X attack, you hit 140, you stand up to. Blaziken or uh, uh, Incineroar or other Pokemon that swing for like 130. Um, Palkia gets a 10 damage buff to Spatial Rend and that 30 damage buff to Dragon Claw as well. Um, I mean, <laughs> I will be honest, even with the, uh, the their ability being changed to them being put to the bench instead of this, uh, the PC, I don't, I don't, I don't care for these figures too much. I honestly, like, I'll continue to sleep on these figures until they get better. Uh, and the same goes for Giratina, who gets a 20 damage buff to Shadow Claw and a 20 damage buff to Hex. So, that's awesome, because 150 is just, uh, that's a great number. That is a great, that's like, he's on par with the Aggron now. Um, being a figure that can also move through other figures with the use of his ability which makes his turn end when he does so i don't i mean that's why i'll sleep on giratina altered form but when i see giratina origin form that that man better be good that's all i'm saying that man better be good zygarde 50 percent gets 20 damage buff to dragon breath 
Lance Wrath becomes a 90, Extreme Speed becomes a 20, so plus 20 all around, which again is good to see that they'll they'll like kind of bring figures from the ashes and kind of like kind of give them a mini mini boost. I mean, Zygarde 50 percent isn't exactly the best figure still, but now it has a better chance. And same with Dragon Eye getting a buff to Dragon Tail and Extreme Speed. Um, <clears throat> Dragonair gets a buff. Weavile. Now Weavile, this is good. Like, this, like I went like this is the biggest takeaway from from this update uh, is Weavile getting a 20 damage buff in both Ice Punch and Ice Shard. Ice Shard is gonna get reworked to where it's gonna spray out, and opposing Pokemon in two steps are gonna respin or are just gonna spin in general, and then they're gonna hit a blue. Uh, if they hit a blue, then their spear. Is knocked out so that's a good answer to like Ampharos or uh, Zerkatry, Tapu Koko, Rotom like those figures that you'll you'll slap a sphere on and or like Mighty Sphere for uh, Faramosa that is intimidating because um, yeah you normally want to you want to sphere a Pokemon figure that's gonna have a blue because it's high survivability the more you survive the more you're able to get usage out of your sphere so that's a great that's that's a great buff to, to weavile and um i really hope that people actually use him a lot more in in the gym so lapras gets ice wall which means that uh okay so that pokemon is prevented from being frozen or burned which counters fire decks um Surf gets a buff to 100, which is nice to see that another rare is hitting that 100 mark. Uh, Drudigan is getting a buff to 90 on Revenge, so it's going to be swinging for, yeah, 130. And Dragon Tail is going to be up to a 70. So those are some good numbers. It, I mean, it sucks that it doesn't evolve or doesn't come from an evolution, so that way it can get more damage. Um, I would definitely like to see like a Dragon Fang Spear or... I mean, not sphere, but plate or something, something. I'm just like, I'm thirsty for a plate uh, or something to give these dragons some kind of a, a boost. Cause some of these dragon types, like these are all much needed buffs, but I mean, look at Garchomp. Garchomp is garbage and he doesn't even have an ability. Like they need to fix that man. Uh, especially if they're planning on doing mega Garchomp. But Flygon gets a 40 damage buff, and that's a lot of that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage because you evolve that thing, it's gonna now have what a four star Draco Meteor. Um, I think it gets Fly Away uh, or whatever its other purple is uh, is a five star, and then the Dragon Claws end up being 120s, which is awesome. That. Mm, mm. Avalog and Bergmite get an update to their abilities as now when you activate the Icebreaker or Ice Scramble ability after Avalog or Bergmite moves, you can choose to end your turn without engaging in a battle. We have not changed the text of the ability. Okay. Okay, so now, like, I mean, that's all. They, they don't have to battle. Um in order to, to do the, the King Rook switch. So, we see that update coming in the next couple of days. And in preparation, um, I'm not even looking at the monthly loyalty rewards because uh, rent has hit, I am broke as shit, and I cannot afford to, to, to cash in on some Pokemon Duel gyms. Which is sad because I would totally, I would just like, because I know that banner is coming. It's going to be Mega Rayquaza. I'm sure you guys have seen other people's videos on what the new mysterious figure is. It's definitely going to be Mega Rayquaza. And I can't wait to see what that man can do because whoo, it just better not have one MP. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like two or three MP at least. Like, I, it, like it's got to be two MP, but I can definitely see it being three MP. So we're gonna now go over some of the decks that I plan on using for the gym. Now, they're sort of heavy on Altarias and Swablus, but I mean, why not? Like, just literally, why not cash in? 
on on that uh, on their ability really it's above dragon types it sucks because i don't have kirim so if i had kirim i definitely would have gone in on dna splicers a long time ago and gone into uh kirim white or kirim black but i don't even have those figures so i'm missing like a whole set of uh, dragon figures that i could really i could really really use at this moment but i don't think i'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna sweat it too much uh, in the gym, unless there's gonna be that one guy that runs like two, like one Kirim black, one Kirim white, and then like three Reshirams and threes, I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyway, so going into this deck, so we've got two Altarias into Mega Altaria. I'll be able to choose because I only have one Altaria Knight. We have um, Articuno as a defender. Um, I might want to consider uh, going into a more freeze-heavy deck for adding Suicune in. I did think about that, but um, I'm trying to just stay within the uh, the Dragon and Ice typing, so that way I can get the most, um, what's the word, the most benefit from the gym boost. So, the Altarias are going to be 3 MP, uh, Mega Altaria is going to be 3 MP, we have... The Articuno swinging for 110 and 150 and Cold Crush and Steel Wing. There's the Glaceon, which will that's going to be our freezer. And that thing is going to be swinging for 42. Um, I mean, sorry, 62, which still isn't... It, that, I mean, it's really nothing. But it, damage, damage. But we have also Rotom Heat and Rotom Frost in separate figures. So that way I can turn all Pokemon into both... Uh, ice types and into fire types so that way whenever I go up against them their damage is lowering so uh, that's probably this is probably the most strategic ish and then the other ones were just kind of like no brainers like all right so I'm just gonna throw three slaw blues three Altarias and uh, wing sphere mega Altaria and I wanted to I wanted to see if people are gonna run other Rayquazas um, but I'm pretty sure Primal Rage works with uh, Mega, Re uh, sorry, Shiny Rayquaza. So I haven't tested that. Um, honestly, you guys let me know in the comments if that works. I haven't seen if it works, but I'm pretty sure it works because when you fuse a Rayquaza into a Shiny Rayquaza, it counts as a chain level. So it basically counts as the same figure, just Shiny. So. Let me know in the comments if that works. If not, then I'll definitely change this deck up. But I wanted to run like a, a cool uh, 3 2 1 kind of variant. And uh, I have a lot of cool ideas for 3 2 1 decks, by the way, that I've been working on. I've got a lot of new figures that I really want to show you guys. Um, I did get some of the Hound Dooms and Arcanines and all of that cool stuff. I didn't get any Megas uh, over the, the month of June, but all right. So. Yeah, that was, that was one no-brainer deck. This was another no-brainer deck. I was just like, all right, Altaria, 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 and Vibrava. And I was thinking about the Vibravas for um, Kirim, because if Kirim can move over any figure, Vibrava is going to be clutch in this this gym. So that and Mega Rayquaza, I mean, sorry. I always want to say Mega Rayquaza. Like, ever since the, the, the banner was, like, previewed announced i've been like oh mega rayquaza oh! and i just can't like when i see shiny ray i think mega ray so shiny ray is also just like a no-brainer because dragon flying i mean sharp, look at the sharp beaks i'm going for damage people that that's also for kirims because um sorry yeah that's for kirims as well because um I want to do as much damage as possible. So those three decks are really kind of my my main decks that I'm gonna try and use. Depending on what I see in the gym, I'm gonna try and flex and um, adjust to that accordingly. But I I don't know. I wish I do wish I had Kirim so that way I could have a figure that would be both boosted in MP and damage and roll everyone because I know that people are going to try and roll on me and it's not going to be fun. 
Um, but let me know in the comments what kinds of decks you guys are going to be running in the gym. Um, plates, figures, uh, even like specific chain levels. I like getting into uh, chain level discussions because of mons like Zorork and um, who else? I mean, Zora does like a damage boost off of like things that get boosted. So there's that, but um, yeah, let's talk strats in the comments down below. And <clears throat> I'm actually gonna end today's video off here. As far as tomorrow, I don't I, I don't know what I'm gonna do for a Pokemon Duel video just yet because by the time the new uh, the new like update in the banner and everything kicks in, or like the next day, let's say the, the next day rolls over for Pokemon Duel, I'm already having to go to work. So I don't want to make a Pokemon Duel video on me just doing League Duels and um, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying I don't want I don't know if I want to do that if there's like this whole new thing going on. You know what I mean? Like if the gym's already going on, I don't want to do a non-gym video. So uh, let me know in the comments as well. Like if you guys just want to see like how this deck is because I mean it's pretty it's a pretty standard uh, scumbag ultra beast deck and I, I have a lot of fun with it but also like I know it's kind of like a rehash thing so um, if you guys want to see that cool but if not then I'll probably still make a video with it <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video off here. Leave a like if you enjoyed and comment any goodies down below like I've already said three million times. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and check me out on any of these socials over to the right over here. And with all that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here and bounce. Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host Frosty Cones, signing off. Peace.